Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing first or second. As you can hear, sounds like a very funky game. Pretty cool beats. Um, it's an indie horror game. Um, shout out to the creator of it right here. Wazoom. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get straight into it. Here we go. Alright. Oh, buddy, you look dangerous. Can I put on my cursor? Because I don't think you guys can actually see. Um, capture cursor. Whoa, we got the cursor. Alright, here we go. In 2007, the Petty family, Jennifer Hawk Petty and her two teenage daughters, were attacked and murdered in their Connecticut home. The father of the family, Dr. William Petty, was injured but managed to escape before the perpetrators burned the house to the ground. Well, it's gotta be this dude. His speciality is burn. All right, who's dangerous? Police officers found the body of 16-year-old Lycans lying on a dirty mattress, more than 150 burns and cuts. At first, it was assumed that the young girl had starved to death, as she was extremely malnourished. It's gotta be him, just because the other guy was feared, feared blood. And I mean, if you got cut, you know, I'm just, I'm worried. Do I, do I find out if I got it wrong afterwards or before? Because I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's just go. Bean found a soundproofed lorry trailer equipped for the torture of victims, which contained various surgical instruments and a gynecological <sighs> table with restraints. He also made recordings of the torture of his victims. He showed no remorse for his crimes, explaining, it was entertainment for me to make these recordings. I can't listen to it again, because I... He had a specialized truck, which is this engineer operator. Hmm. He is pretty psycho. We're going to go with engineer operator. I mean, come on. He's got a specialized truck. Okay. Loves children. Photographer? That man looks like a like a drop bear. Out of the show, show a photo of a drop bear right here. You, you see what I mean? It looks exactly the same. This guy, I don't know how I, f I don't know what what he means by that. I don't like that. I grabbed her and she claimed she was going to tell her mum. I undressed her first. As she kicked, bit and scratched. I strangled her to death and then cut her into small pieces so I could take her meat to her room, cook it and eat it. How sweet and tender her little ass roasted in the oven. It took me nine days to eat her entire body. Alright, we're going to go with him. I don't want to hear the rest of that. Thank you very much, Mr. I like children. I think we found out the answer to that. He likes children in a very disgusting way. Um, Who's dangerous? I don't know. This guy looks, he looks old. Sorry. My brother and mother and taken to the hospital where I was measured and x-rayed, blood was taken from my neck. Once they tied me to a table and started cutting me with a knife. I was given injections that made me vomit and have diarrhea. When one of the prisoners fell ill after an injection, the guards would come in and take them away to kill them. It's gotta be this guy, because I mean, it, the way he described his symptoms, vomit and diarrhea, I mean, it doesn't sound very scientific. However, he is a doctor and a needle injection. I'm gonna be. We're gonna go with him. Well, there you go. That's first or second. Pretty cool game. Pretty decent. Not too bad. On to the next one. Here we are. Magic. Look at that. Uh, we've got Nightmare Files Clap Clap. Um, I don't know if it's Nightmare Files and then... Meant to be played in one sitting. Stay up to date on YouTube and Twitter. At Ray Castley. A shout out to this dude for making this game. It looks pretty cool so far. We're going to check it out. Let's go. October 8th, 1984. I saw an ad in the newspaper about a house sitting job. Since I was a short on cash, I decided to sign up. It's very sorry. My brain can't comprehend the typewriter and the pace of that and the pace of me reading. So um, I done goofed that one up. Whoa. What up? 
find Maxim's house. Let's go. Hello there. Um, I'm looking for Maxim. Are you Maxim? Excuse me, I'm trying to find a house on the street. Could you help me out? Sure, which house were you looking for? I'm looking for Max Sim's place. He hired me to look after it while he's away. Max Sim, huh? That's interesting. He usually asks me. Well, guess what? So I've been so jealous, punk. Yeah, he chose me. Marco. Nice to meet you, bro. Where, where's his house? Of course, it's two houses down. And mine's right there, here. A neighbor's Sav Savo? Savo? Savvy. Uh, is in the middle and Maxim's place. You can't miss it. Okay. Thanks, Marco. Polo, I appreciate it. No problem. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta. That's sad, man. What's it do? Okay, how does it make life easier? You know, controlling lights, temperature, and security system. Pretty cool. That sounds convenient. Probably because of recent disappearance happening around here. What? Oh, okay. He left for vacation right after installing it. Said, "Oh, so we got, we got, we got, we got the system." Thanks for the directions, man. Cool. All right. Um, how did that? How did that fit in there? And why is it like a cereal box? Oh, <gasps> clap, clap. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, you're snapped, good sir. What the heck? Dude, what's going on with your nose and your chin? Anyway, okay, we're not going to judge you. We're not, you just keep stroking your mailbox. My bad. Can we go in his house? Let's go in his house. So let's just house sit him. Oh, invisible wall. I see. Whoa, we got hands. Okay. Um. Yeah, cool. Cool so far. I like this game. It's inside of his bin. How do we... How do I? Eh. Oh, physics. That's cool. Okay. All right, man. See you later. All right. See you later, man. You just keep stroking. Strange. Okay. I actually forgot the directions. I kind of forgot. My bad. Um, cool game so far. I actually really like the style. It's like really well made. Clap, clap, certified. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah. Okay, so it's a house security system. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. I mean, if he's if he's gonna have to have a clap clap thing just to look after his stuff, you know, obviously it's not a good house sitter. That that's why um, Maxim, I think that's his name. That's why he hired me because I do things old school. Why why would they be in the backyard? Hello, plant. Okay, let's go in the backyard. Let's go. How do I? Oh. Other backyard. Whoa, look, it's clap, clap, sign. Really low resolution. That's cool. Reference. I really like this game idea so far. I really like it. It's actually really cool. I think they said put in the flower pots. Is there a flower pot here? There's a pond. It's cool. I mean, I wouldn't really have, like, a an easy access to the back and the front, to be honest with you. I don't know, just for security reasons. But, you know, it's all right. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it works. Should we use the back? Excuse me. No, wait, are they even moving? That is cool. Wow, really cool game so far. I really like this game. This is neat. This is Neato Dorito. Okay, I'm going to continue. I'm going to pretend I didn't say that. Sorry, that, that was kind of cringe. I apologize. All right, we're going in. Hello? Hello? Whoa! Lights! Uh, that's welcoming. It sure is. What a nice house. What a nice humble abode. They did say it was a smart house. What's one plus one? Yeah, not that smart. Okay, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. This family. Oh, sorry. The break any I've literally been here for like a second. Oh my gosh, these controls. Okay, let me just flip this. How do I? How do I? How do I? There we go. What a nice family. Not. 
How do I... Sorry, I'm still new to PC, so it's very confusing. How to be a mysterious killer. I mean... Hire, a, hire someone to look after your house. Come on, guys. Put your rubbish away. Holy moly. Excuse me. Yep, pizza. Man, these guys are so messy. We're going to clean up this place. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Firstly, we're going to clean up the place. Clap, clap. Home automation. Cool, you got your receipt, your warranty. Is that a radio? No, that's the thing I threw. I was going to say, if it was a radio, I'm going to throw it out before it goes off magically like every horror movie. There's a radio right here. I knew it. All right, well, that's going to go off randomly. 100%. That's pizza. A whole pizza? Is that a pizza? Looks more like like a soup. It's all right. Cool place. Let's see what's in your fridge. Whoa, we got the meats. What about in here? Nope. Nope. Can I even open these? Okay, what's in here? Hey, thanks for house sitting. Please make sure to check the mailbox. What are the plans? Throw out the trash. Press Q to toggle the lights on and off in any room. I mean, what's what's Q? What is that noise? Do you? Can I turn it off here? What is with this music? Oh, we need the mail. Um, oh, you pull it. Let's get the mail. La da da, la da do. Okay, never mind. No mail, I guess. All right. Close the door. All right. Let's go up. Ooh, we got more rooms. Hello. Whoa, Clapatron. That's cool. That's that. Okay. Hello. Okay. I guess that's not a. That's not so smart. Not so smart now, are you? Hello. Hello. Caution. Do not enter. I mean. All right then. Alright then. Ooh, we got a bed. Okay. That door, why did that door close? Anyone outside? Anyone snooping? Anyone snooping? Better not be. Better not be, bro. Someone's gonna be right here. Wazoom. Nope. Excuse me. Wazoom. Nope. Uh, Wazoom. Nope. Okay. Jeez. Pretty cool stuff. <gasps> Duck! Oh, duck! Ah, you come on with me, Mr. Ducky. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I've got to do it, man. Oh. The, um... Floating duck? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Can you stay open, please? ba do la de do What's in here? Oh. A disappearing photo, how magical. Some dudes just chilling. I don't know where that photo's going. Hmm, that's quite spooky. Horror 101. I mean, that's a clown. I'm definitely getting pranked by these dudes. Look, look, these guys right here. I don't trust them. Look at them. Nah, these guys are definitely pranking me. These guys are definitely pranking me. Alright. It's locked. Well, I guess we can't explore it then, can we? Yeah. Alright, what's inside? Oh, it did work. Okay, it's just that it didn't want to work. Alright, Hasbrain is, is, is pretty normal. I don't know, man. There's a, um... Grab the mail. I checked, man. There was no mail. There's no mail. Dude, uh, that audio is really quiet again. I apologize, everybody. There we go. We need that ominous. Mm. Um, I'm going to turn up for you guys, though. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Whoop. Yeah, man. I already checked the mail, though, so it shouldn't be anything. Never mind. 
Missing Police Help, Chemcal Zexon, 25 years old. Last seen, 23rd of September 1994 in Salford Park, wearing a black sweater and a black hat. He was doing housing services. I mean, you couldn't. You could have got a better photo. I mean, the, 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 it looks pretty swagger there. I'll give him that. But I mean, it's not the most. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. That's not very. Um, sounds like a beginning of a mystery novel. I mean, warehouse to the two man. Kind of forgot that part. All right, bills sorted. Plants. I want to call that number. Do we have a phone in here? Oh, I can't even use it. Grab the watering can from the garage. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Do we need to fill it up? Oh, no. It's already full. Is this a plant? Is this water? Is this fake? I'm about to find out. Eh. The water are good. That's pretty good, I'd say. I'm assuming I don't need to fill that up then. Alright, we're leaking everywhere. I'm walking here. Alright, fill this bad boy up nicely. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. Um. Uh, it's not watering. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go to the next one. This one over here. Look at that one. I'm watering pretty good. So I'm assuming I have to water those ones. Where are the plants? I might have to go outside plants. Is that what you're saying? Where can we... Oh, it is the outside ones. Does this count? Coming through. What are these bad boys? I think. Oh, okay. I was going to say, they couldn't be that nice flowers if they're like shoved in the corner, but they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice flowers. I rate them pretty highly. I just realized I'm not even holding it. What? Magic. Oh, okay. So it's like five lots. Oh, there's a bar there. That is cool. I wish I had that in real life. That would be very handy. I oh, know. I always worry. I over uh, water my plants, you know, sometimes. You know when you see that big puddle and it soaks up? And you're like, ooh, was that too much water? I'll find out. I mean, it'll be shriveled and dead if not. So, we'll find out shortly. But, I mean, you know, can't be can't be too careful when you're looking after your plants. I see you guys over there. Yeah, that's right. I'm coming over here. I'm coming over here. Don't you worry about it. I'm here. Very calm. Very calm so far. I kind of like it. Passing's pretty cool. Alright, next is taking out the trash. Wah. Here we go. We're going. We're going. Taking out the trash. Wow, that's heavy. Well, man, I'm a big boy. Bone sticking out. Could have been one big chicken. Hello there. Um, oh, I get to choose something. You scared the poop out of me? Or who are you? Hmm, let's, let's, let's keep with the calm and cool. Because you don't really scare me. Who are you? I'm Agent Ristolino. Federal Investigation Bureau. Let me ask you a few questions. Uh, I mean, I guess. Uh, there have been reports of disturbances in the area. Disappearance, strange phenomena. We're conducting an investigation. Yeah, I've heard everything's fine here. Just taking out the trash. Are you sure? We have reason to believe that there's more to this neighborhood than meets the eye. Like Transformers? Optimus Prime? Yeah, just taking out. Yeah, 100% man. Just taking out the trash. Keep your eyes and ears open when you get to the bottom of this. I mean, it's your job. It's not really my job. You get to the bottom of it. I'm just taking out the trash. Stay safe. All right, bye. Um, they were my flowers, dude. Well, not mine, but I mean, I, I need to look after those flowers. And you just walked all over them, eh? Hey. Hey. Buddy. Oh, that's it. Once I throw out this rubbish, oh, you're going to get it. It doesn't even close. Oh, you know what? Forget about it. I'm following this guy. This guy 
walked on my flowers. Well, not mine, but I was, I was entrusted to look after those flowers. Excuse me, sir. Where do you think you're going? Huh? Huh? Where do you think you're going? What is wrong with your hands? Hey. Hey. I got a question for you, punk. Okay. Invisible one. Where's he going? Up. Oh. Hmm. There's something suspicious about that. I don't know. Either the, from the somewhere between him disappearing and him walking on my flowers, something suspicious happened. Just can't put my finger into what. I still. It looks so grotesque. You know. Why would he just shove it right there? I mean, it might be just a dodgy neighborhood. I don't know. Excuse me, sir. I saw you. Get back here. Oi. Who is that? Oi. You in here? Oh my god. Oh my. Do I have a weapon? Shovel. Rake. I can't even use him. Oh, this punk. He's going to get. First, I'm going to close the door. I'm going to be a civilized human being. I'm going to close the door. Slam it shut. Kuchow. We know upstairs. Hey, buddy, where do you think you're going, huh? Check upstairs rooms. Get out of here. Hey, hey. What do you think you're playing at, huh? Get it. Get out of here. Oh my God, this door's gonna. This door's gonna get it. I swear. All right. Hey, hey, buddy. Where you going? Where you going? Oh, the. Oh, look. Warning. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked again. There's a man in that room. I'm telling you. Do I have to feed him? I swear, if I have to feed him or something. I don't want to have to feed him. Let's get some food from the kitchen. Alright. I mean, we got pizza. <gasps> he ate the pizza. You're joking. He took the pizza? You're kidding. Is that the pizza? No, that's the book I threw. Dude, he actually took the pizza. That is ridiculous. Put cereal in bed. Am I feeding the bed? No, that's that's a joke, though. He he seriously ate my pizza. That's that's messed up, man. That's something you don't do. Which bed do we go to? Do we go to that bed? Do we go to this bed? I'm going to go to this bed. Whoop. Lay on bed. Whoa. It's gonna be the window, to the window, to the wall. Wow. What? What, we, what? Am I meant to put on the TV? Is that what you want me to? Alright, uh, what we got? Whoa, this is a thrilling show. We need work in the night. Can I get up? 2.43 a.m. That's a... What are you doing? Buddy? Oh, that's it. That's it. The pizza thief coming in here. Can, can I get out of bed? Hey. What was that? That was the guy who stole the pizza. Hey. Come back here. Oh, look. Look who it is. Oh, my God. Your room is a mess. I'm not cleaning this up. I ain't cleaning this up. Where's the pizza? Where's the pizza? Clap, clap. Where's the pizza at, man? Duck, where's the pizza? Useless. What about you? Oh, that's it. You know what? I can't even use the scissors to interrogate the ducks. As a job. What is going on here, buddy? Where is it? Where is it? What? Where's my pizza? Hey, hey. Let me get out of the window. Let me, let me... Oh, ho, ho, ho. If this chair was in the way, he would have got it. I don't know why that's an object I can't move, but, you know, he would have got it if not. He would have got it. What's going on? Is he in my bedroom? No, my cereal. I haven't even eaten the cereal. Am I sleep? Is that like a thing? I just sleep next to cereal? Is that like my fetish? I don't know. You in this window? It was you. All right. Yeah, you want to do that again. 
Rubber ducky. Sorry, I don't know how that took me so long to read that. Rubber ducky. Rubber du Rubber dub dub. Alright, that's it. Where? So he's taken my rubber duckies. He's taken my pizza. Where you at? I said turn on. Where is he? Face me like a man. Come on. Come on. Is that meant to be dark? What's this? Where is this? I never knew this was a thing. Okay. Anyway, let me out. Let me out. Okay, I can't even leave. So he's going to be in the garage. He's going to be in this room. He's doing the laundry. He's not even doing the laundry. What is he doing? He's taking my pizza. He's messing up his room. Not doing the laundry. What next? Front door. Oh, oh, if I if I get my hands in this, is that always there? Or has he been drinking coke as well? Get out of here. Figure out what's going on. Well, I mean, oh, he's back upstairs, is he now? Huh? Back upstairs, huh? Yeah, yeah. You come back. Hey, you. I'm meant to run. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was meant to run. At the door. No, no. Wait, can we leave? Oh no, the window. Sorry. My bad. One sec. Give me a second. Just get. One second, alright? I just need I, I, I just need to go out the window. I thought I was going out the door, but I'm not going out the door, I'm going out the window. Wait, actually, where are you? So I want to confront you about the pizza, man. Hey! Okay. Alright, let's go out the window then. Where is he? Hey! Actually, you know what? Now that you're here... This man, he's actually a joke. You. This guy's really annoyed me. Honestly, he's taken my pizza. All right, he's he's just. He's gonna like appear in front of me and be like, "I got your pizza." Let's go to that guy's house. Actually, he'll know what to do. He'll know what to do. Oh, he's dead. Ooh, okay. Can we go in the door actually? Let's 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 go in the door. Hello. Are you dead? Oh no, it's dead. Alright, so he's inside that house. So I'm just gonna wait out here. Arms crossed. Wait for him to come out and be like, ah, I've been waiting for you, mate. And you I know what you've done. And I'm disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just very disappointed. Okay, he's not even coming out. This guy is so childish. Honestly, I'm done. I'm so done. This guy. All right, we're leaving, I guess. We're leaving. I wouldn't let someone take my pizza like that, if I'm honest with you. I kept running until I reached the nearest police station. While investigating, the authorities found Marco's lifeless body in his house. Meanwhile, Maxim's remains were found stuffed in the trash bag outside his house. Oh, that was him. The neighbor Savo has disappeared under similar circumstances. Okay. Despite the eerie scratches on the walls and my harrowing account, no trace of the creature is ever discovered. The, the pizza stealing creature, yeah. The, crazy, the case remains unsolved, leaving an unsettling mystery behind. I mean, it's not really that unsettling. It's just a dude who's, who's stolen the pizza. First ever indie horror game. Okay, you know what? I hope you have enjoyed playing as much as I enjoyed making. No. I'll be releasing more horror games in the Nightmare Final series. Very cool. You can stay up to date on my YouTube channel. Check out this guy, Ray Castle Games. Or Ray Castley. Don't know if he's Russian. Oh, is he Maxim? Is that his name? I don't know. 
maximum rate. I don't know. That's cool though. Dude, you know what? Congratulations. That was a really fun game. I like that. A lot of cool concepts. And for your first indie game, that was incredible. I love the style. I love the concept in general. I reckon, right, it needs to be fleshed out more. Like, as in, do something with this. Because this is a really, really cool idea that needs to be fleshed out more. I reckon, like, you could make another game about this. Because it's cool. Uh, maybe flesh out the monster a bit more. Pretty cool. Uh, obviously, uh, with it being your first indie horror game, there's a couple of things where it's like, he doesn't chase after you or stuff like that. And obviously, you know, that's that's cool. Because, uh, again, what made up for it was the cool style, the cool concept, ambience, and also the interacting system. Like, that was cool. Like, there was no bugs or anything I found in that. It was really cool. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. All right. Here we are. Someone's Outside, it's called. Looks pretty cool. We're going to try it out. We're, we're going to play it. I don't know what it's about. Um... Here's who made it. Whoa. What a long day. I should eat something. I apologize. That's that's very loud. Okay, I fixed that. I should eat something. Whoa, zoom. Zoom. That looks like like the um the granite like cobblestone texture in Minecraft. Hmm. I should eat something. Pizza? Why has everybody got a slice of pizza out in these horror games? Like just a whole pizza. That was good. I should clean up the house. Yeah, let's clean up all these radioactive pieces around the house. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Oh, I'm just eating them. Okay, let's just eat all the radioactive pieces. Let's do it. I like how it's just all scattered in the corners. Look at that. I just toss them in every corner of the house, just trying to stuff it up. Whoa. Oh, you walk through. Boop, boop. All is good. Garbage is put away. I'm quite tired. I should rest. Is the bed in here again? I can't remember. Yeah, let's rest. Boop. Okay. We're resting. Press G to get up. We're up. What time is it? I need a drink. Oh. Jeez. It dark. It very dark. Um. Okay, that's better. Okay, um, I can hear the clock in my right ear, no matter where I'm looking. Interesting, I don't even know where the clock is. Alright, anyway, let's go. Hello, I'm thirsty. Is that our TV room, mate? That's keys, why do I have keys? I'm just gonna drink this Coke. There's always Coke in these games. Hello there, Ronald McDonald. Am I meant to, am I meant to run away from you? Oh. Right. Um. Alrighty. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Um, that was my three spooky wooky games. Um, and yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright. See you later. Oh, boy.